Long <laughs> strokes! It's a big album. There's. It's uh, almost flawless. I'm gonna like, go ahead and say it. The Bucklist Buckley, Project was good. This album is great. Oh! Oh, for that real? Guy fucking the for real? Oh. For real? God. Saba. Saba is a great artist from Chicago. Shot Town. <laughs> Thanks for finishing that sentence. He dropped a great project in the bucket list project. It was really good. I think at first I slept on it a bit, but then you kept talking about it and I went back to it and I started loving tracks and those tracks turned to me loving the album. Love the production, love his character, his flow. He's a very smart and switched on dude. And now he's finally released a new album and it is called Care For Me. Also, thank you so much for making a 10 track album. I'm sick of these fucking 30, 50 track albums like Chris Brown. Holy shit, Saba, thank you. You are the future. Meek Mill. Anyway, <laughs> free Meek. Um, let's go straight into it. We got track one, Busy slash mm -hmm. Sirens featuring The Mind. Hey. I'm so long, but all of my friends, but all of my friends got some shit to do. Yeah. All of got plans, I call them my bed, it takes, and they never cross me like bad pedestrians. I've been this opposite edge and less, and I don't know how long I had. What a way to fucking start an album, man. Tell them. That's exactly what I was going to say. Have you, have you heard that track before? The start of it? I heard the start of it before. Yeah, because I was going to say, I've heard Busy. Because mm -hmm. Busy was his first single one. It's the only single I've heard from the album. Same. And I loved it. And the hook is great, man. The hook is so good. And also the beat, the way the drums carry it. And also the, the backing sort of effects that come in and out. And then, But then the switch up. Because it still keeps the drum pattern, but the switch up towards the next part with the mind. The mind transitions into the next part. I'm pretty, then, sure, pretty, sure that's, pretty sure that's Saba. But it sounds like he's definitely inspired a bit by Smino because the way that he was using his voice is very Smino-esque. He's also from Chicago, so he's blowing up. Have they ever collaborated? I think they have, yeah. I think they have collaborated. Well, that makes sense. And you can notice, obviously, the vocal manipulation. Also, he's doing something different with his vocals mm. that really gave a fresh vibrance to it the song. It does. It was kind of like, like you said, it was kind of like another artist was on the song. Mm. I, love when, I love when artists can, can do that. And I feel like... All my people are doing later. It's kind of like what Tyler did with his last track where he used three different sort of voice pitches on the track and three different flows. So it's just like, I love when artists just keep, you know, surprising us and doing things which makes it feel like it's just more than them on the track. That was, a fucking, that was a dope way to start, man. Real fucking great track. Love the, love, love the new part to it. Makes it a better track. Second, Broken Girls. Just the way he's, yeah, it's a very good Jenkins version. Hold on, hold on. Unless that was supposed to transition that last minute, I don't see the point of it. It was nice, it was pretty, but I don't see the point of that last minute unless it was going to transition. But, the rest of the song, 
was crazy. His vocal display is amazing. He's either pitching his voice or he's really good with his voice control. He was singing, he was singing, he was rapping low, he was rapping high. The production was beautiful. Whoever's been doing the beats in this album has been great so far. The drums are very similar to the first track, so there's a lot of uh, things that are in sync. Uh, I, got, I, I, can, I can fuck with it. I get the message of that track. Like being loved broken girls, I fuck with that. Yeah. It's, yeah, definitely, yeah. man. Yeah. All through like my, from like my 21s to my 25s. That's, that's all I wanted. Mm. If she didn't have a problem, I didn't care. Is that because you felt like you could fix them? Or no, something else? I just, it's just, it's just kind of like just being attracted to people that just uh, have damaged. a lot of shit going on. Yeah, damage. damage. I know. I can't really, it's kind of fucked up. Yeah, just people that are damaged. It's kind of like, I don't know. It's like when they, when they're with you or when you're doing things with them, it's just like, you know, they kind of like, you're like their escape in a way. Mm. So, so instead of them just like, you know, trying to really get into you, it's like they're not really trying to get into you, you're just their escape. And it's kind of like you're working both ways. It's kind of like that, I guess. Well, this is showing, once again, Saba seems like a very diverse, he's, he's growing into be a very diverse artist. Mm, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't notice yeah. this on Bucket List Project. I don't think this was on Bucket List Project. I think Bucket List Project it was him telling, telling, a, telling a story, having his, all the beats were very similar, his flows were very similar. Like he was still doing a lot because you know he was a fresh artist, but I feel like already on the two tracks in this album he's experimenting so much more mm. with his vocal display, and it's fucking amazing to see. It's really Very enjoyable. good so far, man. Track three, life. Oh, it's seductive. It's gonna be a banger. I don't think so. Where's the bass coming? Nah, it's not. Is that a bass? Like a bass guitar? Uh, oh, oh. I got angels running with me. I got demons hunting me. Ah. I know Papa 25. Uh. I know she was down for me. Woo. Ain't wanna bump on my wrist. Oh, damn. Boom. Tell me you're not don't fit the description. How are you talking to me? Like a problem on his head, if I just don't exist, if I can work without a single one to piss and party, I'm over the phone. I'm so good, I have my back. He got out of the kitchen, he got it. He's on the phone. I'm so good, I'm so good, I'm so good. That's the city, I'm about to stay on the little kid in the dome. I'm gonna take a hip and put it down. I went to the room, my niggas pooped, now they're doing the same stuff. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my that was crazy. I got my granddaddy's shoe. I'm in one and so my mind. I see one to buy a cool. We shall be sweet to mine. I'm not worried about no random strokes. I still go to social fronts and sleep in dough. I've been honest, been minded, and my whole career has been popped with this tool. I'm in the shake and I'm raised to a bond and a bond of a prop and a baby and a baby. I'm going to my mom. 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 <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that could be one of Saba's best tracks right there. I agree. Shit. Just the way of the start of the track, how he, he like went from like like sort of being a bit passive and then getting to be a bit heavier and then he had the distortion then he went back to the smoothness and then I think he switched up his flow and style five times in that first minute and a half it was silly it was silly he went from hype then he went from he went from subtle hype to hype to aggressive back to subtle to smooth back to subtle to hype fuck me up bro he's he's evolved so much. it's like it's like you know what you know what it sounds like he's evolved but it's just kind of like you know how the bucklist project was a dope project right how many people were talking about it? Mm. Do you reckon they got to him? Do you reckon he was just like, why are motherfuckers not paying attention to me? <laughs> How do I put out this dope fucking album and then no motherfuckers are talking to me? Sure, in Chicago, people love me, but people say, oh, you're like Chance the Rapper's friend. You know, you're, you're on that album, you're on one of his tracks, or like you're on, you're on Alex Wiley's track or whatever. He's just like, fuck that. I don't want to be known as the fucking person that's featured in everything. I want to be my own artist. I want, I want people to be like, oh, people featured on my track. I reckon he's really trying to make a fucking name for himself. Well, a lot of rappers are competitive about that in them. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's him, maybe it's not. Well, yeah, he deserves a lot of the hype. Like his, all, all the music he's done so far, especially the last time, was so dope, but he didn't get he didn't get the attention or respect that he deserved. Or the love. Oh, ben, yeah. we're, he, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna give it to oh, him right we're now. Give it to him now. These first three tracks are fucking fire. Shit. Track four, calligraphy. I know we kick in the snare, we can a bear. Y'all let the fuck up shit that we can do, I got keep in the sear. We be your bear, but I'm the time in the tail. We can go find your lips. Good 
You notice he stripped back the instrumental that time? He stripped back the instrumental, it felt like he was trying to get us to literally listen mm. rather than just hear it. Yeah, I kind of like how it started off real soft and I was like, oh, he's going he's gonna to come in softer, but he still came in hard. And he still fucked it up with the, the thing. He did the, the thing at the end there with his voice and also just, it's just, he's just really just doing a fucking amazing... I wonder how many takes or how many ideas he had on this album that he had to like... Like from 10 tracks, did he have like 30 tracks and cut it back to 10? Often, like, it's like, I imagine it's like that for these artists. Because like he just, he's just doing so much. And the first four tracks, they're just so different, but they just work so well together. It's what you want, man. Tracks five, Fighter featuring Kana. I just broke the shit up and I walked the rest of the day with my hand down. Funny how getting your ass beat a spray around. Yeah. I don't want to find no more. So it's bad enough, they already jumping me. Then I see Sarah coming, I'm praying, please don't fuck with me. It's not fair and I think he agrees. So instead of fighting with them, he came and teamed up with me. Me and Grandpa ain't talk since I stopped attending the cottage. He called me, said I'm a scholar, I shouldn't get in my job. Now realizing your next meal is a foe for foe. Still feeling the guilt that walk, never thought to call. Fighting myself to get out of bed. I'm fighting myself to get out of bed. Fighting myself. That's sick. That ending was so dope. That ending was so I thought he was going to cool. come in and it was just going to be some boring instrumental. But, but he no. made, that was good. And I feel like that was definitely his uh, make it or break a track. Because that beat was probably the beat that did wasn't the most interesting on the album in my opinion. Still really good, but like compared to everything else with but he third. carried it with his storytelling. Exactly. Like if his storytelling wasn't that good, that was the track on the album where you were just like, oh, it's not, it's not, not it hasn't been a perfect run so far. Right. They're the sort of tracks that can wreck an album. But the fact, the fact that his storytelling was so good and you kept like, oh shit, mm. or oh shit, like he was being very vulnerable on that track. Just telling us and the, and the listeners that he's just a regular guy. He's a human being, yeah. man. Like, you thinking he got money? Nah, man. I'm, I'm just I'm thinking about paying my next meal. Like, barely and buy it. Barely get myself up in the morning. Just, mm -hmm. like, just trying to fucking make it. <laughs> fucking, nah. Beautiful track. Amazing ending. And, like, he's, he's, still, he's still holding strong. Super personable. Track just, six. Smile. 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 I guess this is in a weird way too, like Smile. Yeah, right. Smile. 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 That's how repetitive hook is good. Yeah, man, he's he's he does he's fucking good at hooks, man. He's we're great. In a he's world great at where hooks. there's so many fucking shit hooks, man. <laughs> he he he, Cough, he does more with less, mm. right? He's still able to make it catchy, engaging. Once again, a bit more bit more minimalistic production. The drums are really laced in this album. They're just a bit louder than everything else, but really really beautiful. It was on point. His first verse like held my attention. I kept leaning in closer because he kept. You notice we both did that at the same yeah, time. Yeah, we I just did. Caught myself. We did. I'm like, oh, we just. I just. I can't help it, man. No. When, he, when he sped that shit up, I was like, oh. That's right. when music I just pay does. More attention. When a yeah. good song does that, you want to. Oh, what the fuck was that? And then what? after, oh, and then after the second hook, where he came in a bit slower, we're getting the sing on, and then 
I fuck with that. He kept it diverse. He kept mm. it engaging. He kept it, boom, something different, something different, something Which different. he's been doing the entire album. Maybe after the Bucklist broke, someone told him like, hey man, I really fuck with you, but you know, there are parts of the album where you're a bit, a bit stagnant or you know, you just do a bit of the same old. Maybe that's what he wants to do with this album, just really challenge himself with just switching things up all the time, which is exactly what he's Working done. Working very well. Yeah. All right, we got uh, track seven, Log Out featuring... Ah! Chance the Rapper? I'm rapping so fast for a slow beat. This is a piano. Yeah. How's that working? The drums, the drums are quicker. That's how you do a pause. Eminem, take notes. Oh, oh, for real? <laughs> for real? Oh, for real? God damn. Oh my God. I love the chance to rap out a small feature. He didn't need more than that. He did his thing. He said what he needed to do. That hook was crazy. That's how you do a fucking pause. The beat was crazy. Just everything. But yeah, one thing I noticed was like, the, the piano on that beat was very slow, but the drums were quicker. Like I said in the last track, the drums are driving the energy of this album. Saba's matching the drums, but everything else behind the drums is softer. The drums are, if you listen clear, closely, you'll hear that the drums are the loudest part of the, of the production. Like... And then everything else in the background sort of foreshadows and builds more around it, whereas Saba's matching just the drums. Can we just talk about that? One, the pauses were done so well with Chance's verse. Mm. And two, you were like, you wanted to hear more, but then you fucking stopped oh. the track on but the you, hook. And you were just like... So well. So well. And like, as much as I was mad for like half a second, I was like, nah. Perfect I, I execution. Fuck I fuck with that. Perfect. Oof. You had that fucking bow and arrow back and you hit right in the target. Yo, we seven for seven, Saba. We're killing this shit. Grey. Don't label me with the niggas. Infatuation with plastic. I wanted it to be thriller. First they wanted it hip hop, and then they wanted gorilla. And then they wanted gorilla. And then they wanted a dancer. Now they wanted drug addict. Infatuation with plastic. White girl wanna be sister. But that's not the one that got you there. Yeah. 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 Ye
I was acting dumb, be a damn bitch, great, they stupid. I had one beat in a hip hop class, I thought that shit was stupid. He transferred the robber, rolled me on tech, don't get this problem for two a day. Sending me links to something that he made, kick on him, he had to run it away. Hey, grandma made his play, he played 2K, that's just a day before. But team that got a show tomorrow, he texted me, and he in that hoe. I went to the barber shop the first thing the next morning. And that wasn't even the last track. That sounds like the last track. One of the best tracks. Which, which you want me to say? Which you want me to say? His storytelling was just so powerful. So powerful. Just talking about how rough it is in Chicago, how rough it is for him in between, like, you know, gigs, recording, family, friends, just shit, man. We're going to need to hear that one back about 10 times. Oh my God. It was saying so much. It just like, it was, it was good because, because his storytelling was so good, I didn't mind that the beat was a bit more simplistic, but then the switch up towards the end and then the switch up again when it got heavier I was just like fuck me man as he got more passionate as he got more passionate the drums kicked, kicked in more bruh every time I'm sitting there going oh maybe this track won't be as good as the last few <laughs> they, they proved me wrong every single fucking time they proved me wrong every fucking time oh shit this motherfucker 9 for 9 don't fuck this up you could have oh, done a 9 track album and had a classic this last track could fuck you up man fuck last me last track featuring Gucci Gang, fucking Migos, Migos fucking, <laughs> fucking. Oh, that was so good. Fucking Debbie. Oh. Heaven all around me. Stars, I ain't even fan, I know we go. There's heaven all around me. 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 Oh, damn. Heaven all around me. Hold on, the track, the track, the track. A nice optimistic way to finish. A bit positive, bright. It was. It could, it could have ended it before, but that was a really nice way to finish it. Right. Now. Sylvan Q now has a rival. He now, we now have a contender in the house. And his name is Saba. It's very true. I don't know if it's... I don't know if he can take over that album, but he's definitely the, he's the first artist this year so far. We're in March. No, we're in April. We're in April. We're nearly halfway during the year. And there ain't much shit dropped. But it's the first motherfucking album since Apologies in Advance dropped that, yeah, can actually rival it. This is big. It's a big album. There's... It's almost flawless. I'm going to go ahead and say it. The Buckley, Buckley's Project was good. This album is great. He stepped up. He stepped the fuck up. Less is more. Every single motherfucking track. Actually, besides this last one, but pretty much nearly every track, he switched shit up so much. Actually, I don't even mind they didn't switch shit up on the last track because it was just like a real... It was a good happy closer. It's like closer. an outro, man. Exactly, it's like man. An just like just, it was just like really closing... Everything that he's spoken about in the album was all like sort of clarified on this last track in a way. Just like... Yeah, there's heaven all around me, no matter mm. what. Yeah, man, I'm gonna have to go back and listen to this again and again. Pick up what I miss. Really, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm, hold on, hold on. You talk to these people, I'm gonna look at these producers because I gotta give them props. They did their thing on this album, man. So he's right, the producers did do their thing. Story wise, is it cohesive? Maybe not, but is it, does it matter? Not really, because every track tells a different story um, that maneuvers through Saba's life in a very vulnerable, personable, relatable way. I really love this album, that's all I wanna say. I really loved it. I can't wait to listen to more of it. It feels good. It's got some great messages behind it. Great storytelling. Engaging. Diverse. Diverse. Short. Punchy. But he keeps you engaged, man. He keeps you engaged with his talents, with his swift, lyrical deftness. Mm. That's how you make a fucking album. Saba, you put in fucking... You've already been putting Chicago on the map, but now you're just putting them on there further. This is why, if I was to live anywhere in America, even if it's fucking high Dangerous. crime and scary yeah. and shit, I'd still live there just because the music's so fucking powerful there. Fuck me, man. Whew. You killed him, man. Every time I feel like I was going to be like, sway away, you, you held me back. Your storytelling's amazing. Your style's amazing. And you were, I, I could hear a few influences. I could hear like definitely some McJenkins at the parts, some Sminos, some Chance. 
maybe a bit of Alex Wiley all throughout this album, but at the same time, it's still you doing you. Can we give me a clap? It's a great fucking album. It's just going to get better with each every fucking listen. And I'll be highly surprised if this doesn't make my top 10. It's making the top 10. Will it though? Jungle beat Saba. Bruh. Saba, go, go to go on a holiday, man. You done. <laughs> you done. <laughs> Take a holiday, bro. I'm got a deadline. Blog with a headline. Always a headline. Death in the alpine. Whole city bedtime. Most of us flatline. Most of us die young.